All right, hey y'all, what's up? Rich Aesthetic here, and welcome to our third episode of Aesthetic Apps. Let's jump straight into this. All right, so if you're here, you're probably wondering if I just clickbaited you. And yeah, I kind of did. As far as we know, right now, cinematic mode is exclusive to the iPhone 13 line. Now, whether that's because of the A15 being required or not, we don't know. What I do know is that there's an app called Focus Live which allows you to take portrait video with either the true depth front facing camera or with the LiDAR sensor and the back facing cameras on your current iPhone. A little insider info, my last video was actually filmed with Focus Live. And if you watched, I think we can all agree there was definitely an added layer of depth, although the video looked incredibly soft. Like I was filming in 4K 30 FPS exported at 4K 30fps and 100% quality, but it just doesn't look the same as recording 4K in the native camera app. So that tells me either the process of capturing depth information or just the way the blur is being applied is degrading the video quality. And this is actually most noticeable when filming in motion or moving objects. As you can see from these results, the app is essentially telling us that this is not the correct use case. I think the most jarring issue with these examples are all the dropped frames that result because I moved the camera too quickly. Which, one, I wasn't moving that fast, and two, at 60 FPS, one wouldn't expect this. Again, there's nothing wrong with pushing our tools to their limits, so let's just define those limits. For slow moving B-roll or stationary A-roll footage, the app does great, as long as there's enough light. We all know how smaller camera sensors perform exponentially better when they get more light, and that's why Apple has been pushing their sensors to be larger the last two years. Well, with the amount of compression that seems to be going on in Focus Live, even with normally decent lighting, the video quality takes a huge hit. Again, my last video was really soft, and I shot that with basically the same lighting as I shot my previous videos. This video should look a bit more sharp as I have two more light sources, one being natural light from a balcony window and the other being an 18 inch diameter ring light, which I manually set to try and match the natural light from the balcony. If you, like me, are enjoying the video, please tap the like button and consider subscribing. It would mean a lot. The cool thing about Focus, like cinematic mode coming to iPhone 13, Focus allows you to change the aperture after the fact which allows you to change the level of blur on your video. Now, past using Focus Live to capture portrait video, the app is also a full-blown video editor. If you have access to a bigger screen, I would recommend editing your videos there. If not, however, Focus has a full-featured linear editing timeline allowing you to do speed ramps, color correction, chroma keying, and even keyframing. So if you're on the fence about getting the iPhone 13 or are only interested in capturing that sweet, sweet portrait mode, give Focus Live a shot. You can try it free with some limitations or unlock pro features at around two bucks a month. You could easily use the full potential of Focus just for when you need to make a video, whether it be cinematic or even just for a job application. If you use or try out the app, drop a comment down below. Thanks again for watching. Please share with your friends and subscribe. Rich Aesthetic out.